my name is Katrina and I'm here with the Wine Country Channel and I'm here with Marcus Marquez. So what do you do here? I am the general manager of the property, co-creator of Brasswood. And Brasswood is a food and wine destination. We're very fortunate to have 57 acres here. Winery, restaurant, bakery that's behind me, mercantile, tasting room, and a gallery. Um, so it's a destination for people to come and really get a uh, taste of wine and food put together, everything. <laughs> and one of the things that makes it so special is that we get to make wine for uh, 100 Point winemakers. We have Philippe Malka here, Angelina Mondavi, we have Russell Bevins, Tim Milos. Um, so we have a, a, a community of vintners that we make wine for, and this is their village too. There was a huge fire out here that affected just everyone. How has that affected you, your business, and just Brasswood? Being here in St. Helena, we are very blessed and fortunate that um, we were affected by the fire more from the quality of the air. We closed down for three days. Um, our winery, we have 57 acres here, our winery stayed open the whole time. We're, we make Brasswood wine and we also make wine for 22 different uh, brands and we were responsible to make sure we kept those wines healthy and during harvest it's kind of our livelihood so you can't just turn it off. Yeah. But we safety was first. We made sure that anybody that was uh, here on property was safe. What came to your mind when the fire first started? You never think it can happen to you. Yeah, so the fires were so far away at the time, uh, but because of social media, there were local people doing live feeds right off front of their doors that were close to here that were showing fires that were approaching and being evacuated. So at that moment, I knew we had a huge devastation on our hands. We never had a mandatory evacuation here in our property. We were very fortunate and safe and, um, and had a little blue sky over us pretty much the whole time. Not knowing when to restart up was, a big, uh, was the big question. If it was too soon, if, um, if we even had employees to come back to, we had no idea if they lost their houses or they, how far they evacuated. And so the team actually came and, because I couldn't do it by myself, so they actually came and wanted to get it back up and running and they wanted to take care of the neighbors and, and feed the locals. And um, so it was kind of a, a spontaneous, um, we're gonna be open this day and, and we'll go day by day. And so far it's been, um, it's been nice to see familiar faces from the neighborhood. Here in St. Helena, because we didn't have actual fire damage, uh, we were able to bounce back quicker, get people back to work and open up for business and really get um, people, the engine going so that we can take care of everybody that livelihoods depend on um, us moving forward. If any one person was affected, it's devastation. Um, there's not uh, damage that's too small for to not really know that there's real um, hurt out there. So many, we have an employee that lost their house. We have um, friends that lost their house. We've um, had people that were evacuated the whole time and kind of still are evacuated. What's so great about the Napa Valley and Sonoma is that when we get back to work and we get back going, there's some normalcy in the everyday and uh, it helps uh, generate revenue to give back and um, you know it's it's been fun to reintroduce our neighbors and you know meet our fire department again and and feed them and do all the stuff that they need um kind of step up and and keep it going um, I would just love to share with everyone to uh, keep their uh, vacations um, booked because we count on seeing you and we love seeing you and sharing what we do here all year long from hospitality, from wine and food. Um, we enjoy, this is what we do. Uh, we keep, look forward to seeing everyone that has, wants to come. And if you had to cancel, uh, we're here, can rebook and um, yeah, just keep Napa Valley in your mind.